What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Game here, bringing you the Microsoft E3 conference for 2017. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so the E3 press conference is about to start here. I am watching it uh, pre-recorded there because I didn't have the time to watch it. But I haven't seen anything in the press conference yet. So without further ado, I will go through. I'll show you what I found interesting, of course. I won't show you the whole hour or two hours or however long it lasts. So without further ado, we'll just jump right in and go from there. So see you there. Oh, and of course, before I start, uh, I'm I'm sort of, uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, basically I'm, I'm going to give my critiques on what I'm seeing as it goes on. And of course, if you want to see the full recap, I, I will do it on the uh, Me Time Gamer podcast, which should either be out on Thursday or Friday this week, depending how I'm able to uh, organize all the press conference things. So we'll see from there. So without further ado, now we'll let's go. <laughs> do they start off with the Scor Scorpio? Maybe, maybe. Oh. Is it the Scorpio? Oh, yes, it is. Microchip? It probably is. Oh, this is nice. Ooh. Yeah, it would have been the logical thing to start with the Xbox uh, Scorpion. Scorpio. Project Scorpio, whatever you want to call it. We'll, we'll probably find out what the hell they're going to talk of, call it here. Woo! Is that Master Chief? Forza? Or uh, Payback. Need for Speed Payback. Oh shit. Are we going to see the model for it? Oh fuck. Don't don't jump. Oh. It looks exactly like the other ones. Feel true power. Shiny red light in the front. Uh, I mean white light. <laughs> Sorry, that really wasn't on purpose. It looks pretty much what the other ones look like. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. I have to say, Phil Spencer has done a lot for Xbox, though. He has a... Uh, he's good at what he does, I have to say. And those are all journalists, right? Those of you with us here in person, watching on this incredible 4K screen, to the millions watching us around the world or TV or online, and to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf of everyone on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. <laughs> When the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than X. And today, we are pre proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One X. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I guess. A lot of people were speculating the name was going to be Scorpio. Xbox One Scorpio. The most console ever made sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. It's so funny. Listen, I know it would probably be the same way. Xbox One X. November 7th. Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. Ooh. 
it's funny that the, the room, the conferences are usually mainly, mainly press people, and they act like 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 kids that had never been there before. So funny. But I guess I would probably do the same. Up next is the game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next work, running in-engine in true 4K. World premiere. Okay, what is this game here? Let's see what it is. Oh? That looks nice. Starts off well. Got tanks. That's good. That's good. Hmm. What is this game? To live without hope is to cease to live. Dososki. Hmm. This is not Metro. No. I know that song, though. That's for sure. see the sweat when he's breathing that's pretty cool like he's wearing a suit that's pretty that's pretty intense actually i'd say hmm that's a good idea burn burn the spike what the fuck is that Take that. Oh yeah, there's more than one, that's for sure. Alright, alright. Looks like a fun game so far. I like the graphics. I like 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 you see all his mask getting dirty at the same time. That's pretty intense. Oh, it almost looks, it almost has like a fallout feel to it, but it's not fallout. That's for sure. Oh, right in the eye. It's cool. They went even, I don't know if, oh. That looks fucking amazing. Hmm. It's it's fun because the game the everything has like everything thought thought out. It's not a Why am I thinking I don't remember the title of the game. Those little tags in the side there are pretty annoying. Huh. Oh. Oh, you dead. I'll take that back. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit. That's a fucked up bear we got there. Old. Oh. Run! They don't really have a choice now, don't you? Explosive one's a good idea. Oh. Oh, you going down, bud? Hopefully that he doesn't grab you. It's time to grab the train, I guess. 
Ooh. Was that a uh, Soviet Russia? Hmm. That looks fucking intense, I have to say. What is this game? I'm not I, I'm not big on Xbox, so I don't know every title. Metro. See, I got it. Metro Exodus. Okay. Fuck, I wasn't too bad. I did guess it. Metro. It did have that vibe to it. I played the part, the parting 2018. I hope it comes to... Did it say it was Xbox exclusive? I don't remember. That was intense too. World premiere. Fucking Xbox in their world premiere. Actual in-game footage capturing 4K. We're not done seeing that. Are the first. That's Assassin's Creed Origin. The first to see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. Fuck, you see the difference in design compared to Metro? The first to guard the soul from evil. We huh. conquered this land and built an empire. Ooh. So far it makes sense. The ships. Whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. Oh fuck. They are the first to call themselves the assassins. Oh, that would be cool if there's arena battle. That would be awesome actually. No. That's fucked up. The Brotherhood begins. You had me till the big snake. Ubisoft, not Ubisoft. That was a cool looking trailer, I have to say. Hopefully they'll be able to make a good combat with uh, Assassin's Creed. Syndicate was fine, was pretty good, but... ...is the birthplace of modern civilization. And it is also the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure. Egypt. 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingers. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjai, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And his struggle against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X running in 4K. And now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle, Medunamun. Cool, some what? Show me some gameplay. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, we'll get a, probably a date. Hopefully it's going to be released this year, I'm assuming. Ubisoft! That's what sucks. Ubisoft gets a lot of shit for for their game by some people because of some of the mechanics they use and stuff like that and repetitiveness and they, they just shit out open world games all the time. But I have to say Ubisoft is the master. Like when it comes to design and stuff, their game looks good. Their mechanics usually are solid. And uh, I think some of the shit is un un unneeded. My home. But 
the sacred oasis. Uh, this looks good. Hopefully, it's a good, it's a good re-entry into the series. They took a year off. Uh, we got the movie, which wasn't that good. Apparently, I didn't see it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm. We'll see, we'll see what what that gives. But so far, the game looks good. We'll see. There's not a lot of uh, compared to the other uh, assassins. There's not a lot of high places to climb and stuff. But we'll see what what the new mechanics they're talking about to see what they're gonna do to improve the game. Get out of the way, jerk ass. I feel like I'm playing. Alpha gameplay. That's worrisome. Sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck that is. This temple resembles a fortress. Okay, so it uses uh it uses the um, Far Cry Primal system, Sword the Eagle, but zoomed out instead, which is a bit better because I'd that's one thing I didn't like about the Far Cry Primal Owl thing. It was always like right on his eyes, so it's hard to control. Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. I have to say, compared to a lot of games, this 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 Assassin's Scream is a lot more vibrant than the other ones. Now it is my turn. Ev tip the balance of Anubis. Ev even Syndicate was was colorful, but not as much like it was still like somber sort of. This one is very colorful. Or livelier. I like I like the way he, he like he doesn't he doesn't quite look like like an assassin. He looks like it, but not not like fully. Ooh. Yes, they, they might have improved the ragdoll physics a bit. Better be careful here. I should go drop these trees in the desert. Does he have the sliding knife yet? Maybe not. Oh, he does. Okay. Uh, a fine bow. I don't remember the last Assassin's Creed you were stuck with the weapons you you pick you you had or you could pick up weapons like he just did. Hmm. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried that it says alpha gameplay like right behind me. I'm hoping that that might mean it's either they didn't have time to create a new a new de beta demo or whatever in time for E3 or the game's only coming out next year. Yeah, it's fun. You, we finally see like all their games mismatching together, how they're taking like... How they're taking hints from all of their games, putting them together, which makes sense. If you have a wide variety of games, that's what you should do. Sort of mismatch, mismatch the, the mechanics together. That would be that's always a good idea. Like the owl thing, the climbing's pretty pretty much. Uh, okay, that's cool. The climbing stuff is pretty pre pretty related to Assassin's Creed. Have you seen any other Assassin's Creed before? Kadoosh, you dead. You will die, Medunamun. Holy shit. Alright. Go down, big boy. At least you got a shield this time. How do you I don't remember how you called the hooked the hooked sword like that? I want to say a scythe, but I don't think that's what it is. Oh. Oh, you can guide the arrow? What the fuck? That's pretty awesome, actually. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Egypt. Egypt. Oh, okay, October 27, 2017. That's fine. I have to say. I was a bit worried with the alpha footage. But uh, Xbox, it's gonna be good. We've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. 
And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. Uh, the creative director of Player Unknown's Battle Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Is a gamer turned developer who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. Cool. That's one game I was hoping that would come to, to PlayStation. Xbox still pretty good though. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against a hundred other players to be the last one standing. Our team's focus is to bring the most complete battle royale experience ever to console and deliver a great experience across all Xbox One devices. Our development is truly community driven and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over three million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year. Uh, darn it. An update for Xbox One X enhancements shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. Exclusive. This is a game I was hoping to eventually get on fucking on PC because this game looks so awesome to play. I've watched twi Twitch streams a lot about this game and it's so fun to watch. Just the concept, it takes like H1Z1, uh, H1Z1 concept and stuff like that. Battle, battle from 100 to 1. Team, you can have team base and stuff like that. Customization. But this, this one seems to take it better, make it work better together, all that stuff, compared to, uh, H1Z1. Or DayZ, or Arma 3 BR, B Battle Royale. I'm sad it doesn't come to Sony. So that's the problem. Is Sony 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 needs to get some sort of like early access thing going going on, like Xbox has, or they call it Xbox Preview or something like that. So we get more games like it. I know that we have. Uh, I know on Sony they got uh, Ark, uh, but like which is still in early access for some fucking reason. But it's it's the same thing. Like DayZ still in early access. I don't know how they're getting away with that. It's kind of stupid the way I see it. Pretty much the concept of this game is you're stuck on an island. Yeah, battle up from one to 100 to 1. Picking up weapons to equip yourself. It's a, it's a very fun model of game, I have to say. Since since, since they started off, like in the era of, like I already said, in H1Z1. It's a, it's, it's a proven concept that works well. This, this, this map seems a lot tighter than H1Z1, though. It does seem a lot more enjoyable. This game's been out for a while and people keep playing this fucking game. Like it, it's it's beating out H1Z1. Z, H1Z1's like slowly dying down as it's going. <laughs> Xbox One exclusive. God damn it. Oh, that is that state of the K2. I'm hoping that's another game. Like I, I'm sad that I sold my Xbox One because this this is one of the games that I enjoyed on the first one. The, the I enjoyed the first one, and this this is the second one. Simple pleasures you took for granted. How the do you protect yourself? I want to say something, like that, but I want to. I want to let him talk. When the protectors can't even save themselves. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I really like it about State of Decay is that, like, the base, the the community building aspect of it, where you have to gather gather civilians, build up your base, and then go scavenging. You can send people up. All your characters can be permadeath. Like if you die, he's dead. You have to move on to the next character. It does look a lot better than the first one, that's for sure. It's a big plus. They look a lot more aggressive in this one, though, compared to the other one. The other one, after you got a lot of good equipment, you can run through a mob of them, and it's, it got pretty simple after a while. But this actually seems a bit more. Uh, this this one this one seems a lot more harder to work with. This is made by Undead Labs, which is a, it's a good studio, I have to say. How will you decide who 
bones. Thanks. I owe you. How will you choose a place yeah. to call home? They seem, huh? they seem to use a lot of the same gra the same uh, models. How will you build it? The same models as uh, like the like when they when she opened the door, it's pretty much the same model as in the first one. Like they they give themselves like a swing and then push in. Work together to defend it. Yeah, that uh, that would have been a good game to buy on fucking Xbox if I still had one. Oh, those assholes. Like that's also a nice concept I enjoyed, clearing out a house. Like once you once you looked into everything there. Ooh. And the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart. Will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. Oh, they 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 got a cure now. That's weird. <laughs> That 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 concept, that um, that mechanic's pretty cool. Where you can open the door, it's a very fun mechanic. I enjoyed using a lot. Ooh, those are those are bad ones to go against. Oh, Bobby. Oh, you did. So it is available on Windows 10. So if I ever get a good, I get a good PC. Ooh, you got no face. Oh, you did. Holy shit. Brutal. How will you find the strength to carry on? Don't let Bid Bubba catch you. Timber. That was a brutal kill, fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, it looks nice, I have to say. In this world of the it does have... It, dead, it does look like the, it has a bit of jankiness to it. The first one had a lot of it, but... How will you survive? Still looks pretty fun. All right, another exclusive here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A special announcement from Thrilling Game, or Thrilling Game. The likes of which has never been seen before. Don't tell me it's Cuphead. Has been seen before. <laughs> Cuphead, right? Oh, look at that. Is it coming out anytime in the fucking next century? I have to say, I do love the art style of this game. It's... It's like the I really enjoy the old time the old time comic book look of it. Release date? Oh my god, we finally have a release date for the game. Jesus Christ. That just took forever to release. Exclusive. A sumo digital production. Crackdown 3. Says it at the bottom there. Oh! They killed the power around the world. We're gonna light it back <laughs> because this is far from over. Terry, uh, why can I not remember his last name? This guy's funny. This fucking eye. Tomorrow you'll be throwing cars. Forget dropping bombs. You drop it. <laughs> now it's time to get to work. <laughs> time to step up your Bet people are gonna be happy to see this because this is a game a lot of people. People are people were waiting for this game for a long time now. The fully destructible world. Crackdown three. One of those games I never played either, so it's a bit hard for me to 
It does look very interesting, though. Well, I do enjoy like what what the game's all about, like fully destructible world. That's pretty interesting. It has a good. It has a nice um, comic book style to it, or uh, how do they call that professionally again? I don't remember. Uh, I can't remember. They called it. They call it the same way for uh, for walking uh, Telltale games. There. I just call it comic book style. Oh, uh, cell shaded. There it is. I remember. I have to think about it for a second. Shell shaded. Yeah. Shell. Shell shaded. Yeah. <laughs> Terry Cruz. That's the name. I remember Terry Cruz. Up your game, right? Up your boom. Damn it. Crackdown 3. November 7. Holy shit. Exclusive. Aurora 44. The dark is older than the light. Yes, yes, makes sense. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. Hmm. I'm enjoying the art style. It's different. But that light was a betrayal, only fleeting. Oh shit. In its wake the night returned to claim us. So f Oh no. I don't know why I like the the like the no face the no face art style it's it makes you try to it makes you almost like try to feel as the character in the game. Oh no. Jesus Christ. This rebirth will end our wandering. All right. Oh shit. Hello, sir or madam. Fuck. These guys are strong if they can survive all this shit. Ashen. Hey, that looks like a cool game, I have to say. World premiere. Ooh. Square Enix. Not too bad of a start. Oh. That is Life is Strange Part 2? Season 2? Maybe. Yes, it is. I will be playing season one on the channel too, since it's free on PS Plus. I will be playing the full five episodes. So this is pretty fun, actually. Another season. I know. I know it was coming out. So only. Yeah. That's Max. Fuck, they look older now. Ooh. Hmm. At least there's an evolution. They don't, they're not going to stay with her being young all the time. Now I wonder if it does like what uh, Telltale does, and t if when the way you played the last game, if it uh, if it follows through with that. Life is Strange, The Ford of Storm, Episode One of Three. Uh, oh, okay, it's coming out pretty soon. So I will be playing that as fast as I can, so I can buy the first episode for that. From Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, Michael De Platter. Tried to humiliate me. 
you left your mark on Shadow of War. You burned my mind. God, I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. I can't wait to play this one too. This one seems very interesting to me. I played Shadow of Mortar. That was super interesting. I like I like the concept a lot of this one. Like taking out fortresses as you go. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Oh, I said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Those are pretty smart, smart old, uh, orcs. Oh, you dead. Oh, yeah, you dead. Yep. He just took a trophy from you. Oh, you can now separate. Two new features we're really excited about. You can now separate you from um, Calibrimbor. And I don't remember the uh, Talon. We'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Ooh. Chopper, to expand our army. Then Makes sense. we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Oh, that was nasty. You can't hurt Calibrimbor or whatever the f I don't know if I'm saying the name right. I'm, I, I'm, I suck at remembering these names. Ooh, they dead. Yeah, really. One thing I really enjoyed about those games is the Nemesis system was very, very cool, especially at the end there. I won't, I won't ruin it for you guys, but at the end, it really comes back at the end, the way you played the game and all that of the other game. Oh, I'm not going to kill you. You're, you're going to be my partner. They all... They also all have all the o all, all like the overlords and stuff like that. They all have um, they all have different classes too. This guy's uh, this uh, this, uh, this a tank or destroyer or something. So that's a cool. I enjoyed that from the first game. That was pretty fun. Same thing, really. End results me ripping spines out, which I like <laughs> to do anyway, so either way's a win. <laughs> a fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. <laughs> if you want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. <laughs> this must be early in the game. do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> Pretty funny. So we already have a few loyal followers in our army. And recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the overlord. I wonder if there's still an open world concept to it. The open world of Mordor to new regions oh. like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. Mm. Oh shit! You cleave me in two. Any other Machine tank, yeah. Died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! The witch is being ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven Ooh. new orc tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paste. I hate pigskins. Come on. Uh oh. 
be cool to add add this guy to our team. Oh, there we go. Cool. I, I love that. That's so cool. I can't wait to see the whole fortress concept. We should plan our attack and select our followers. Yeah, the Nemesis system sure is upgraded from from what it was before. Feral Bastion. <laughs> my kind of black. Well, I will handle the overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. Make sure they die. That's cool now fighting with an army. There are October 10th. Nice. Might be a game I get since since Red Dead Rede Red Dead Redemption 2 is not in it's not this year anymore. Shadow of War might seem a good a good fucking game. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, you enjoyed the Xbox conference for E3 2017. That was a fun little um, fun little conference, I have to say. There's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so first off, you got a you got State of Decay 2, which looked very interesting. I really enjoyed the first one, and this one seems a, a very a very good improvement on the second one. You also had uh, what's the next one on my list? Uh, Assassin's Creed Origin, first game since a couple of years now, which is coming out in October or November, if I remember correctly. Uh, so yeah, that looks very really interesting. Taking it to the original Assassin, I guess we're gonna find out what happens there. Let me stop that right for you. Yeah. Sorry about that. So yeah, we're gonna. So yeah, the, so yeah, the new Assassin's Creed. Uh, we haven't seen one in a, a good while. And we also have. Uh, I think the one, the one I. Of course, you at the beginning you had the Xbox One, uh, Xbox One X reveal. Looks pretty impressive. Uh, they really pushed on it to make it to make sure like it is the best console. There's no other one, which was annoying because they repeated it for the the, con the the thing almost lasts an hour and a half, and they repeated it every fucking time they had a game. I didn't. I didn't quite understand what they always. Every time they said a uh, console launch exclusive or whatever, as a weird way of just putting an exclusive in there, it sort of loses the meaning of exclusive a bit. But that was still very interesting to look. A lot of the good games. Uh, like I was saying, one of the good games that uh, caught my attention the most was probably Metro Metro Re uh, Exodus. That was a pretty fun little game. It looks very interesting. Uh, I sort of guessed at the beginning. I didn't even see any other information about that game. It just happens to. Um, it just <laughs> happened to. To come up, it, it had that art style of it. I only played the first one, if I remember, and I played it for a, for maybe two hours, and it had the same vibe. As soon as I saw it, the graphics look amazing out of it, and uh, I can't wait to see what what else that games come out. What else was Tacoma looked pretty good, then there was Life is Strange Before the Storm, which, like I said, if you um, I did download Life is Strange the first one. I will be playing that on the channel probably the week after E3 if you're watching the E3 conference right now. I'll be releasing those episodes. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, there was a lot of other cool little game. I didn't write everything down. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, roundup for the Xbox One conference E3 2017. That was very enjoyable. I can't wait to see all the other conferences. We still have Bethesda coming up. Uh, we still have Sony coming up. That's the one I'm waiting for because, of course, I'm more of a Sony guy myself. But uh, I might stay up for Bethesda. I don't know. It's, it's, it's coming up in three hours for me because I am watching. As you can see, I paused it on YouTube there. I am watching it a bit. Uh, later in the in the and the, during the night and uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed of course if you enjoyed the video the recap like the video and subscribe to the channel leave a comment below with you you if you would like to see a different way commenting uh the conferences if you'd like to know more information i i am putting as much of my knowledge about the games that are coming up probably bethesda and sony will be more because xbox is not really my wheelhouse wheelhouse that much but xbox uh sorry sony and bethesda are more into my wheelhouse ubisoft also because 
I'm more, I specialize more, I, w I would say personally, in open world games. And they're, they do a lot more of the games I play, uh, open world game style, and uh, enjoying their, uh, uh, for like defining their mechanics and stuff, I got, I got a good sense of that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you in the next, uh, next press conference or the next video if you guys are not watching the next uh, press conference. Of course, you can follow me everywhere, me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.